Hello and welcome to the Hard Reset 2022 gift guide. Please like and subscribe so that we can share this whole series with you. Now, as we research the Hard Reset series, we hear a lot of compelling ideas, we see a lot of cool technology, and we see a lot of cool products. Some we feature on the show and some we don't. But now that we're getting to the end of the year and a lot of people are looking for cool gift ideas, we thought that information might be helpful for you. So we decided to put together this gift guide. So each of the gifts that we've selected, we selected because we think that at some level, it allows you to rethink your life or something in your life from the ground up. This episode we're gonna do is all about personal technology, which is something that's always pretty popular as a gift. We wanted to find personal technology that offers a new way of looking at things or has the potential to make a really big impact. So we think these ideas will start a lot of conversations and get people thinking about how their relationship with technology works. Personal technology has had a huge impact on our lives and the world as a whole. Consider the iPhone. At the time it was released, I don't think anyone really understood just how much it would change our lives. But now, more than a decade later, smartphones have completely altered so many aspects of our lives from how we monitor our health, use money, get around, entertain ourselves, or entertain even each other. It's kind of nuts. At Hard Reset, we're interested in how people are challenging the assumptions we have about technology, rethinking how it should be physically designed or how we should interact with it, how it allows us to interact with each other. These can be small, subtle differences that can have a really powerful impact down the line. So let's get to talking about these gift ideas. These are the Ray-Ban Stories. They're sunglasses with built-in cameras right up here and here that allow you to take photos and videos directly from your own perspective. You also have a Bluetooth speaker that can connect to your phone. This allows you to listen to music or have conversations and look like a crazy person because you're not wearing a headset, which is a lot of fun on the subway. The hard reset angle here is that as technology gets smaller, it allows us to rethink how we interact with it or how we use it and how we can shape it around our bodies instead of working around it. For example, do we want to keep cameras in our pockets with our keys or do we want to keep them up here where our eyes are? Glasses are already well-designed to integrate with two of our major sensory inputs, our eyes and our ears. So this technology is taking advantage of that existing form factor. Also, they start to make me wonder what happens when these sorts of glasses are as ubiquitous as something like dash cams or other recording devices. It's an interesting future to ponder when we're able to easily record all of our experiences and share them with others. How does that change the nature of memory or surveillance or privacy? This is still very much a nascent technology, so we're still answering all those questions as we build that future in real time. These glasses run anywhere from about $250 to $300, and they're a perfect gift for someone who likes cool sunglasses and wants to capture more moments from their day to share with others. These are the MyManu Click S earbuds. These are Bluetooth headsets that work with a variety of devices, including iOS and Android devices. The reason we selected them is not because of that, but because they have a live translation feature. Using an app on your phone, you can tell it what language you're speaking and what language you're translating to or from. And then it uses AI to translate for you. So if you're with a group of people who all are wearing these earbuds, it's really seamless what you hear, what they are saying in your language. Pablo, you know this is my favorite show that I ever go on. Pablo, sabes que este es mi programa favorito al que siempre voy. But if you need to translate with someone who's not wearing a set of these, you can use your phone as an intermediary. The hard reset here is language barriers. I want to be clear that I don't think that this is a fully mature technology. There's delays and other bugs, not to mention the occasionally hilarious AI translations you get. But we do think this is a huge step in the right direction. And once these sorts of technologies are mature and ubiquitous, I think it'll do more than just make it easier to travel. Think about what will it mean when we can all communicate with each other without stepping away from the identity and familiarity of our own language. As someone who lived in another country and had to learn a new language that people spoke there locally, I know how frustrating it is to try and cram all the nuance and meaning that you're used to being able to just say in your native language into another language that's not as familiar. But what if you didn't have to make that sacrifice? What if you didn't have to squeeze all the important things you're trying to say into a much narrower channel of a language that's still new to you? What if we could all speak different languages but still understand each other anyway? These cost about 160 bucks, and even if the translation software is still working out some kinks, they're actually just really good earbuds in their own right. They're a perfect gift for someone who wants to travel and doesn't mind, you know, using their phone and gesturing awkwardly at it to strangers when they're trying to get directions to the bus station. This is the Frameworks laptop, a DIY laptop kit that you get to assemble on your own. It's designed to be a laptop that invites you to build it, to upgrade it and customize it, and even repair it if you need to. 
It's a really well-designed laptop. It feels very substantial in your hands, and the keyboard is really comfortable and a kind of a joy to type on. The screen is also gorgeous. Inside is beautiful as well, with all the components very nicely laid out and easy to identify. You can also customize the outer ports by popping out the inserts to provide different inputs or outputs. Now, I am a huge Mac snob. I've owned exclusively Macintosh computers since 1998. So it's saying something when I get excited about a laptop that doesn't run Mac OS. Frameworks provided us with this testing unit and I got it up and running and tested it out with some creative apps as well as some games. And after making a few adjustments to the Fortnite settings, I was able to get really good performance and I teamed up with my son to win three victory royales in a row. The old man still got it. Anyway, the hard reset here is that well, one of the reasons I switched to Mac in 1998 was an ad they released for the Power Mac G3 that showed the case opening up and inviting you to go ahead and make upgrades and customize the computer yourself. That design itself was an invitation to dig in and get involved. Now, what I love about Frameworks is that they're moving to this totally open approach. They want you to tinker with the computer. They want you to build it. They want you to repair it. When you open the box, they provide a screwdriver. What is that if not an invitation to customize and play with the tech? It's a very different approach, and frankly, it's one that we really love. These laptops start at just over 850 bucks. That goes up from there as you add features and options. They're a great gift for a student who needs a laptop for school or for anyone who wants to have a little more access to tinker with their computer. In the interest of full disclosure, they did provide us this loaner for free, but we do have to give it back. And it didn't affect the content of this review or recommendation, other than the fact that I now have to explain to my son why I can no longer play Fortnite with him. This is the Aura Ring. It's a ring that has a bunch of little sensors crammed inside it. It can measure your heart rate, your breathing, your body temperature, and your movement. All of this can help you track how your body is performing and give you insights into how to sleep better or get more out of your fitness routine. And it all fits in this tiny little ring. I actually like this a lot more than I thought I would. The ring itself is a tiny bit chunky. The first time I picked it up, I was like, oh, it's kind of like a small napkin ring. But honestly, after a day or two of wearing it, I basically forgot it was there. I certainly can't say the same thing about my Apple Watch, which is not really very easy to ignore. So score one for the Aura Ring. It looks great, it's pretty comfy, and it only needs to be charged like once a week. The hard reset here is that we're all generating tons of data about our health and well-being, but we're usually not capturing it. That's kind of a lost opportunity. Think about how much data most people capture about their body. They might weigh themselves occasionally or take their temperature if they feel bad, but that's about it. Now that wearable health sensor technology is maturing, there's a real opportunity here to have a full picture of what our bodies are up to and how to use that information and make our lives better. As we get more data and more data, we'll be able to start predicting and preventing illness. We'll be able to make choices that help us feel better all the time. But first, we have to get that data. So devices like this can make a real impact. This Aura Ring costs anywhere from $300 to $550, depending on how blinged out you want it to be. It's a perfect gift for someone who wants to get in touch with their body and get more insights about how their fitness or activity levels are impacting their health. I hope you enjoyed this gift guide and I hope you'll like and subscribe to the channel. One thought that I wanna leave you with is that personal technology is really going to radically change the future. And how it's gonna change the future is still being defined as much by the people who use it, like you and me, as the people who design it and manufacture it. So when you use technology, when you use it creatively, you're actually making it better for subsequent generations. So I hope you find an idea in here that you think can make someone else's life better. And also please check out the rest of our Hard Reset series for more ideas worth digging into. Come back for more of our gift guide episodes on learning, food, the metaverse, and books. Make sure you like and subscribe so we can keep you in the loop and share more news about the people and ideas that are changing our world. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go play Fortnite for 45 minutes.